All right, y'all, it's another day in the office. Um, gonna be doing some fab work. We're gonna see if we can't make this thing fit. What we're gonna be doing today is uh, making some mounts. You can see I've already marked up some of this stuff here. Uh, you know, to remove the bungs, add a bung there, kind of get this factory fan to fit, get ready for whatever I'm gonna put on the bottom here. Haven't really figured that out yet, but I got plenty of aluminum. Uh, get the factory condenser to fit find a way to get this to mount up to the actual truck um i got a tall order today so without further ado let's get started okay so give or take this is kind of how i want it to fit uh, in order to make that happen i am gonna have to remove this bung here because it's not lined up where i want it to be you can kind of tell it's on an angle you know, it's got a good gap here, got no gap here. It's also, if you can tell, it's coming in at an angle this way. So I guess that's the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this bung. Maybe I can salvage it and put it where this one needs to be. I'm gonna see if I can save this bung. So we're gonna get started on that. see that but this right here is interfering with the fitness so I guess my best bet is to kind of trim this up trim this around and maybe I'll get it to go a little farther over All right, I'm almost there. So if you can see over here, I need a tiny bit more, and I think I can get them to match up. And if not, actually, you know what? I just don't think these are gonna match up. So, I think this weld is a little too wide. I can get it in. Like that. so with a little bit of finesse fine cuts and a three pound hammer I was gonna make a nice video today but he just has to ruin everything so next thing I'm gonna have to do is grind this down it's a little bit it, the bung sticks out a little bit too far um, Really, other than that, I can, I'm gonna have to get rid of these original marks I made, and we'll kind of just go from there. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna actually extend these out. Uh, I got some aluminum sitting over there. I'm gonna 
as you, you can kind of tell, this doesn't extend out as far as the original radiator and the tops. And that's really all I need uh, regarding extending out the aluminum. Uh, the bottom, I'm just going to do a little notch and a level right here. So, you know, when you put it in, you set it down on this notch, rests on the notch, and then you bolt it down right here. All the bung here also. Um, probably just do it on the back side of it. mocked up. I'm going to see if I can get uh, get this radiator to kind of mount up like this one did. I really want to keep the factory mounting locations and everything like that. Just keep it as factory looking as possible. Um, so I guess I'm going to take this off and kind of just I hope I hope this fits in the actual original uh, you know, the actual original mounting spots right here because that would be really easy for me. <sighs> Please fit. Well, it's different. That's great. But I think I can make it kind of like that one. Really what needs to happen is see all these mounting plates right here? They kind of protrude out from the front, so it's kind of offset. I'm going to have to find a way to build me some of these, and then I'm just going to reuse this rubber mount. Um, hopefully whoever buys this has these rubber mounts. I can always
right, so I'm going to try to mount the factory uh, condenser in the same spot on this radiator. So let's get some measurements. 